Hello again. So I've had a few people asking me about sterilising the water system in a caravan. So what I've done is, is taken a snippet from one of my other videos. There's a video about how to prepare your caravan for spring. And in that, I talk about how we uh, how we sterilise the system. So um, cutting over to that, here's me. The next part, I like to, um, to sterilise the water system every year. You've had other pipes sitting there over winter. They might have had a bit of water in them. They might have had all sorts up and down them so I like to sort of run some some of this stuff it's just a very gentle um, sort of sort of uh, steriliser um, now you can get this on eBay or from or from Amazon it's really not very expensive and the instructions say 4.5 litres so that's a gallon takes a teaspoon and what I'll do is take um, so I've got a 40 litre these things are about about 40 litres it means I'm going to take about eight or nine teaspoons of this mix it with water in a jug till it's all completely dissolved then pour it in your tank and then top the tank up till, till it's full with clean water and then we can wheel that out plug it into the caravan so i'll do that now ready now i've taken some of this stuff i've mixed it in with some warm water so it's all dissolved nicely and now what i've done is i haven't taken the whole amount I've taken about half, so I'm only going to half fill this, otherwise I'm going to have loads of stuff that I need to run through the system. So all you do is pour that in, and then take your hose pipe and fill it up, or at least half fill it up in this case. Okay, right, this is now full. Full, half full and I've rolled it here so the sterilising agents had a chance to roll all inside this although I don't really think this needs much because it's been open all winter so we pop that in connect up this and again while we're doing this it makes sure that this is all sound and working make sure that's seated properly there we are now go inside and check it so we're going first things first Go down to the to the little tap at the bottom that empties the hot water tank and make sure it's in the off position. It's very easy to connect it all up. And then think, why isn't the tank filling? And then find out you're pumping all of your water onto the ground. So there's that. Then we'll go and try the taps. You should hear the pump start to run. The tap should be open. I should start to hear it gurgle and all the, all the system fills up. While it's doing that, we can just have a stand back. We can check around there, everything's, everything else is okay. So if we pop into the bathroom, check that's doing it as well, which it is. So we keep going. In fact, if you have it on, if you have it on hot, then you know you fill it up the hot tank. It'll take about 30 seconds or so to fill up as it normally does. And what you're doing is filling up the tank with the sterilising agent and then you're going to be filling up all the pipes as well. So don't forget to go into the bathroom, switch on the bathroom tap as well so that those pipes fill up and the whole system full of water. Okay, so this is full now, water's flowing. But I've got a problem down the front in that water's coming out of that valve. Um, so let's go and investigate. So here's the valve and these valves are notorious for leaking. So if you're getting one and it's not working, the trick is you get the valve, switch on and then off again. And that usually stops the water from coming out. So, so I've been outside to check that water stopped flowing now out of that valve and you can see the pump light has gone off. There'll be a little red light there. So that's all done. The other thing, we can pop in the bathroom, check we've got water in there. So we'll let a little bit run down the sink as well. And that will mean all the sterilising agent will sit in the sink pipes for a little while as well. Just help with any noxious smells. And also, don't forget the shower attachment. So we can switch that on. Okay, so that's got some in it as well. So all parts of the system now have some of that sterilising fluid in. And what we then do is we can turn off, turn off the pump and we'll just leave that now. And we'll leave it for something like two hours. Have a look on what it says on the on the little tub. It tells you how long to leave it, about two hours. And then we'll come back. While we're waiting, I'll just check. I'll just go along all the pipes on the inside and I'll just look to make sure there's no leaks. Okay, so a couple of hours has gone by. What we're gonna do next is empty this out 
empty what's left into the drain and then wash it out with clean water and then fill it up with clean water again then I'll bring it back okay that's now cleaned out fresh water so in that goes and now we can go and wash out the system first job to try and drain out all of the other stuff that we've got in there all the sterilized ingredients so obviously we turn on the, the dump valve down there and then we come over here we can turn on all the taps which should now as long as the pump switched off which should now just make gurgling noises and we're letting all of that on the show we're letting all of that um, water with the chemicals in it escape now so we'll give that 10 minutes so 10 minutes has passed switching the pump back on we should now get the gurgling again from the taps while we wait for it all to fill up so the next part is as i'm doing here run all the water out so you fill the container with clean water and then you can run it out through the taps you can run it out through oops, both taps so hot and cold, stick it in the middle so it both runs through. So you want all that water to come out through all the pipes, all the sort of um, water with the, the sterilizing agent. And you can do the same in the bathroom as well. So run out the water um, until we get nice clean water coming out. we run the whole lot out. Run the toilet water as well. There we go. Let it all go and do that until the thing's empty and then that'll be the whole system cleaned out, nice clean water and then you can empty it again and it's job done. So I hope that was useful. Um, if you like this video, please click on subscribe and otherwise I might see you next time.